Hey gang, Jack Lear here, and when most people think of fighting games, they think of Street Fighter 2, Mortal Kombat, Samurai Showdown, Soul Calibur, Tekken, one of those games. And nobody ever thinks of Duel Heroes. There's a reason for that. Now I picked this. Now I picked this game up. Uh, really cheap, and just because it had a cool box art. Thought the box art looked nice. Now it turns out this game came out. It turns out this game came out in 1998. Now, for those of you who don't know what was going on in 1998, uh, just a quick recap: Titanic was pretty much sweeping up all the awards for the year, and we lost Frank Sinatra. So in 1998. This 3D fighting game came out, and most people looked at it and went, bah. Yeah, they did so with good reason. Uh, essentially, there are mm, four buttons that you're going to use. Now, for those of you who have never seen a Nintendo 64 controller, we've got all kinds of buttons there. We've got a left and right button. We've got uh, the Z button down here. Now. Let's take a look at the controls. Now, as you can see, most of these controls have no use. That's right, no use. Basically, there's a punch, a kick button, and a block button. And there's punch, kick, and block. And you can do combinations of those. And depending on which direction you move the stick, depends on what that combination does. So, for instance, if you're holding forward and you push two buttons, they might do a jump kick forward. If you're just standing still, they might just do a spinning backhand. The character select screen, you've got uh, the, the different Power Rangers. Uh, there's the, the Red Ranger, and of course the Blue Ranger, the Green Ranger, the White Ranger, the Pink Ranger, I don't know, whatever. A bunch of guys and a bunch of people, excuse me, in armor. There are two girls in there. And girls. Anyways, they might all be robots. I don't know. Bottom line is, the gameplay is not that great. The AI is laughable. Wrong. Now, for the most part, the, the starting out rounds. Fight. They just stand there and let you kick the crap out of them. And then they start getting to, there'll be some people who are in close offensive fighters. <laughs> offensive fighters. There are some people that fight from range. In between each round, you get this placard, which is just the most boring clip art that I can think of. Even the announcer in this game sounds to be a little bored most of the time. Winner. Raw. Get ready. Fight. There is a training thing where you can actually fight another dummy and not another dummy. You can fight a robot and practice fighting with that character. And the robot in theory will learn what you're doing and try and mimic you. Whether that works or succeeds, I don't know. I played it for about half an hour and the robot still seemed like an idiot to me. I actually thought had some promise was the arcade version and basically what it is is that they're not the arcade version but there's an one player versus VR I think is what it's called 
And you go in there, and there are different people hanging out in the arcade. So it's kind of a weird metagame. And you can go in there and play against them. Now, it turns out, after I did some more reading after I started playing this, and there are actually unlockables in there to where you can unlock more people. And you can challenge them and play them, and then if you, the more you win, the more something happens. I don't really know. But it's kind of a cool idea, because you could go in and have these pretend people, these VR people, in there, and then play against them. And you would find out that, you know, some are real aggressive, some like to back off and do counterattacks, just like you find in most arcades. And then, of course, there would eventually be a, a super person at the end that would be, you know, just unbelievably cheap. That's it for Dual Heroes. Uh, this is the only game I have ever reviewed that put my son to sleep. Uh, if you like fighting games and you like the kind of weird ones, go ahead and pick this up. Might be worth a shot. Uh, it's usually really cheap. That's it for me, and uh, hope you enjoyed the review of Dual Heroes. Uh, as always, play on!